what's your reaction that this is now a full-fledged investigation and that Caspian was, for lack of a better term, I guess, raided today? Well, you know what? Uh, I fully support the work of the RCMP. Winnipeggers need to get to the bottom of this. We all want to get to the bottom of this. And so uh, we're going to be working with the RCMP to make sure that uh, any results coming from the RCMP's work is immediately implemented. We'll be working with legal counsel to take appropriate steps as that information becomes uh, uh, apparent to us. Can you say to the public right now, anybody involved in this is on notice that they're going to be held responsible if there's issues, concerns, or problems? Well, I mean, let's, let's let the RCMP do their work, but, but let me be very clear. If the RCMP do their work and we find reasons, you know, criminal wrongdoing, obviously we want the RCMP and law enforcement to do their work, but we will also immediately take steps to make sure that, uh, uh, that the appropriate steps are taken, and if that means removing people from positions, absolutely. We have to restore people's faith in City Hall and integrity in the process, and that's one thing that uh, I think uh, Winnipeggers have demanded more, and that's exactly what we'll be doing. And uh, we are doing that. Uh, one of the things that we've already started looking at and taking steps on is, is what can we do to ensure that there is greater integrity in the processes at City Hall and greater faith at City Hall based on the recommendations from the audit. And we'll have more to say publicly uh, very soon, but I can tell you that that work has already begun. Outside of the investigation, have you had a conversation with uh, Chief Clunas about these issues and concerns about that building? Because at one point or another, your police service is going to move into it. The, uh, look, let's, let's let the RCMP do their work first. Uh, I have had meetings with, uh, with the police chief. I'm not going to get into discussions about uh, exactly what's been discussed with meetings with the chief of police, but I can say that uh, I have met with him throughout the term. I mean, let's keep in mind, uh, I've just got into office uh, last month, and, uh, you know, this, this, is, uh, this is job one, though. I mean, restoring trust and faith in City Hall is job one. And that's why one of the early steps that I took was to get a committee going and, and start the work on the selection of a new CAO. Uh, that work is very important. We have to get the right person for the position to be able to, uh, to, to work with council to uh, implement more changes that are necessary resulting from the audits and as well as implementing uh, other steps that council sees fit. Mr. Mayor, you weren't uh, on council that asked to have this looked at by a third set of eyes, Manitoba Justice, yeah. who's now passed this on to the RCMP. I take it, though, um, most people, the public can look at this now and say, I guess that council made the right decision because we now have a full-fledged investigation. I take it then oh. you would support that, law, that council decision. Absolutely, they did the right thing. I fully support it. Uh, look, I mean, council was, uh, was obviously concerned enough that they, they felt it necessary to refer this matter to the province and in turn, as we know, it's, it's gone to the RCMP. Uh, that's very important and I'm, I'm pleased that the RCMP is doing their work and I want the RCMP to get to the bottom of this. We have to restore faith in City Hall and uh, people have to have faith in uh, the integrity of the processes. And uh, that's being challenged. And, uh, you know, for, 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 for good reason. We need the RCMP to do their work. And I, I think the, the council made absolutely the right decision. And uh, I'll, I'll work with, uh, with the RCMP to do whatever we can to make sure that uh, they can get to the bottom of it.